So this is doing a spoon splint. Um, you can zoom in on the materials. So you need the appropriate size splint for the dog. Double pads if there's any sores or wounds. Tape, stretch gauze, cast padding, and vet wrap. So you won't put your hand there because I'll need this. Yeah. So if we weren't pretending, we would cut this spoon splint right here at this line, right where the elbow is. We're going to pretend like she's got wounds here. So normally I would break this and I usually pad up the ends of it because it, these can get sharp. We're not going to right now. So first you want to do your stirrups and stay away from any of the wounds. Like we said, we were pretending there's wounds on top of the leg. It's cool. <laughs> Cover those with that. And then you're going to apply the cast padding. Always start from the toes and work your way up. So you want to wrap the foot and the toes, leaving only the toenails exposed. And cover your bandage material halfway each time you work your way up the leg. And always go above the next joint as much as you can. That keeps the bandage from sliding as much. With splints, you want to pat them up as best you can so there's no sores. And then with the stretch gauze, you can get this too tight, so you always want to be careful with this stuff, but you also want to pull it fairly snug because this is what gives support to the bandage. Too tight and you'll cut off circulation. Again, make sure you're wrapping halfway, overlapping up and down. Do you have scissors? apply the splint. So the foot should sit in the cup. You're going to fasten the splint to the leg with three to four strips of tape, which again you have to be sure that they're not so tight that they're cutting off circulation, but you want enough support given to the leg. And then you're going to put your stirrups up over the bandage, but you want to at least get one to support the spoon splint itself. And then the bandage, so we can see toenails, but no toes. And then we're going to apply some vet wrap. So again, this should be cut here, and normally I would wrap this up over the end. You always want to leave actual banding, bandaging material above vet wrap, because vet wrap can cut off circulation pretty easily, and cause a lot of rubbing and sores too. So 
Well, there's some bandaging sticking out of the top there. And there is a spoon splint. Lateral splints would be done the same way, just on the back leg.